everyone welcome back to my channel this is sambhu from cloud tech today i will talk about aws sso single sign on and with uh, like what our today agenda is like what is the sso how we can configure sso what the real life use case of that sso and we will show you that hands on demo also so let me introduce like what is the sso sso by name itself you guys can understand like single sign on what does mean is like uh, if you log in one then you can uh, uh, access multiple account like single sign multiple access account okay guys so that's the single sign on and if i uh, like show you like high level architecture like how it will be looks let me show you that so it will be looks like this suppose you, uh, today our agenda is like uh, aws organization and inside the aws organization if you have multiple account then how we can access by using sso that's our today agenda in our subsequent video i will talk about if you want would like to integrate this sso with external idp like uh, azure ad or any either like uh, keyclock or any other external idp like idp then how we can do that that i will demonstrate in my subsequent video okay guys so today agenda like inside the aws organization if you have multiple accounts suppose i have one account cloud tech and another account i have cloud tech one and by using sso how we can access these two account or well, instead of login like because uh, real life example if i talk about it right, in an organization like uh, where in it company or in your organization in aws there are multiple account we have right and to remember each and every account password and username that will be very difficult right and as you know right uh, in as industry standard uh, every 90 days like after 90 days we have to rotate our password also right suppose if you have a 10 account or maybe suppose we are accessing different different application like uh, jira or maybe uh, this one like workday or maybe we are accessing uh, like different different dashboard right jira uh, like wiki page different different confluence page right so each and every application have uh, their uh, like if you give like individual username password right and if you try to access all this then it will be very headache right but if you have the sso right then uh, only one place you have maintain your credential then every application you are able to access by using the single username password you no need to bother about each and every application or each and every account defined defined username and password right so that's the advantage of sso okay guys and today i will show you how we can create like a, a defined account also like a cl cloud tech one cloud tech two how we can create how we can configure the sso enable sso okay guys so let's move on to the aws console and then i will demonstrate how we can do that so this is the aws console uh, where i have already logged in and guys keep in mind this sso only will be enable if you suppose i am enable in that uh, in virginia region right it will be global it's not like that each and every region we have to enable this sso okay guys that point also keep in mind okay so what we can do here we can search like sso if you search here sso then we can see sso now sso like it's become from like uh, iim identity center okay so this is nothing but that aws uh, sso single sign on if you go inside this you can see like successor aws single sign on what the sso manage workflows access to multiple aws account or maybe cloud application okay guys so what we need to do here the benefit we have like defined use case so you can you guys can have a look all this also okay so let's uh, enable this sso first so i am enabling this sso sometime so it's enable is done so let me now we can see here now this is the aws access portal url it will give you one url by using that you can access multiple account i will show you that and if you would like to customize this url also you can customize so how we can do let's click on customize here and if you want you can type your domain suppose i am typing take let's type here let's see let me check this see this is not available okay cloud tech uh, aws azure gcp everyone let's let's try this if this is available. now our custom domain like the by using this url only we have to access our uh, aws uh, organization or account okay guys so what we need to do here like here the left side menu we have a user we have a groups we have a settings aws account permission set these are the things you have right 
So if you go to the AWS account, right? Let me show you that. What we have here. In AWS account, we have two different accounts. One is the Cloud Tech, one is the Cloud Tech uh, 2. So if you go inside this, nothing is there. Two accounts already we have, right? If you would like to create another account, let me show you how we can create. So suppose uh, go to the AWS organization. So let's go to this AWS organization. Add one account here. Here are two options create AWS account or, in, or invite an existing account. So anything is fine. So let me first two I have given and email address at the rate and let's create it. So this AWS account will become here up after some time. So meantime, what we can do here, we have a user section. Let me go to the user section. Let me show you. I don't have any users also and we have a group. I don't have any groups also. So let's create one group here. Suppose, suppose developer group, I'm just giving some name here. You can, if you want, you can give some description also here. And now add users to this group. Now I don't have any user. If you would like, you can create from here also, or maybe later also you can create. So let's create this group first. So my group creation is done. So what we can do, we can create our user also. How we can create user? Let's go here and let's keep the username here. Take two. Suppose I am giving something like this. Okay. And here two options. Either you can send the email to this uh, to set up the username pass this or password setup or you can generate the one time password also. Anything is fine. So let's select this one. And then if you select first option, then you have to give the valid email address. That point guys, keep in mind. So now whatever email address I am giving, right? This is not a valid actually. So, gmail.com. Here, and you can keep the also first name, suppose. I'm keeping this one here, cloud tech and last name also same. Okay. Now display name should be like this cloud tech. Something like that I'm giving. And the rest of the thing, let's keep everything as it is. We, we no need to change anything here. Let's go to the next. And if you would like to assign any group to this particular user, like I have one group, right? If you uh, there in your real life scenario, right? In your real life organization. There could be multiple groups also. So if you want to create separate group, you can create from here also. This is the option. Or if you would like to assign this same group, just click on this and go to the next. Now this is the preview section. So just add this. Now here this point keep in mind. So this is the user and this is the password. So we have to copy this. Otherwise, uh, by using this only, we can log in. Okay, guys, to, for this user. And uh, let me show, uh, copy this. And So I copied here and this is my username and this is my one time password. Okay guys. So let's go back here. Now this is done. Now permission set. But I didn't create any permission set here. We don't have any permission like what are what all permission you would like to give this particular user, right? So let's create a permission set here. So Permission set like uh, by using I am also if you guys uh, not yet watch my previous video by I am also to a particular user we can handle that permission what all permission we can give by using I am but here advantage is this like a uh, uh, single user multiple account you can give the permission but I am like you can give like uh, that is single user single account right there is no like a single like multiple account access is not there right so uh, if you have any doubt regarding that I am I will request you guys please refer to my previous video. I have already demonstrated about the IM. I will give the link to this video description. Okay, guys. So here two options we have like uh, predefined permission set. Here we have some of the suppose if you would like to give the administrative access or or maybe you would like to give the billing only billing part that particular user able to see or maybe network or power say or read only 
whatever you, you would like to give as per your requirement you have to select this one or if you would like to customize your permission right we have a custom permission set so if you select this one here if you go over here right here we have different kind of policy and if you want you can select that aws manage policy and here we have like different kind of policy name like administrative access if you want only ec2 then you can select ec2 also then you can see ec2 full access if you would like to give only suppose <coughs> s3 access then you can see here s3 also related thing so as per your requirement you can give so now today's demo let's give uh, like administrative access only okay guys so let's go to the previous one and let's select that predefined and administrative only let's keep okay and let's go to the next and this is the administrative access and if you would like to give that uh, description let's keep the description and session like this session one important part here like how long you want to keep alive your uh, suppose you are logged in now then after how uh, like what time like this is the threshold value after one hour this it, it will be automatically uh, log out so that's the purpose of session duration so here we have defined defined option as per your requirement you can select also okay guys so let's keep default as as it is so let's go and let's create okay now i gave the administrative access now if you go here right so let me go to here If you suppose come here now assign group right so let's assign this group and let's assign the permission so this is the permission i am giving okay now let's submit so it is configured now this is done so only this this particular thing i have given permission these two account i not given okay so let me show you how we can log in now so let's go to here and let's select this Let's come here. Wait window. Select the username. Select the username here. That's the password also. This is the password. This is the auto-generated password. Okay, guys. That point keep in mind. Now it will ask you to change the password. So now we are able to log in here, right? So let me see which. If you click here, right? Now I have only one account access. If you want to go here. Then you can go to this account and you can see. Now here we have only single account, right? So let's give another account access. How we can give? Uh, suppose let's select this one, this account, assign groups, and let's select that uh, same group. Now take demo. Go to the next. Let's give the administrative access here and submit it. Okay. Now let's go here. We can refresh it. Now I can see here two account. I I can be able to see. If you now if you want to log in this account, you can. But separate account I am not logged in. Right by using single login itself, I can see two account. Right. If you want to give another one, you can give another one also. Like suppose you select this one, assign groups, and then select this, and then select the permission. Suppose administrator, and then submit. So it is done. Now what we can do? We can go here and just refresh. Now you can able to see three account. Without logging any account, you can access this, right? So I am not logged in individual account, but we can able to access. So that's how we can manage by using SSO, right? In my next subsequent video, I will talk about if you would like to suppose uh, if you would like to like revoke this permission or if you would like to clean up or delete this particular. Think how you can do that or de disable or enable how we can do right that part i will talk about in my next subsequent video i hope this session will helpful to you guys and if you feel this video is valuable to you guys then i will request you guys please subscribe my channel and share surrounding with your friend and if you have any doubt then put those uh, command in this video comment section i will address those okay guys 
चलो सी यू इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय